when you attend an event at an NFL stadium, college football stadium, Major League Baseball, Minor League Baseball, you name it, they all have prohibited items that you cannot bring into the stadium. They also have guidelines as far as the bags that you can bring into the stadium. Now, this past Sunday in Arizona, in Glendale, at State Farm Stadium, the Los Angeles Rams were taking on the Arizona Cardinals, and apparently, um, well, I'll just put it right here. The Arizona Cardinals did not allow a fan into the game on Sunday wearing a Make America Great Again hat. The only way the fan was allowed in was by throwing her hat away. The Cardinals have not com commented on this yet. MAGA hat is not listed on prohibitive items. This is a developing story. So this happened this past Sunday. So if you look at the list here, um, where does it say you can't wear your MAGA hat into the stadium? I mean, I see alcoholic beverages, um, animals except for service animals. Uh, banners, b beverages that aren't uh, purchased in the stadium. Unless your beverage is factory sealed and not frozen. Uh, cameras. I'm talking professional cameras because they do have photographers around the, around the field. Um, Strollers, wagons, car seats, umbrellas that are larger than 12 inches in length. I see a lot of things here. Noisemakers. I see a lot of things here that are on the prohibited items list, but I don't see Mega Hat. So this story was picked up over at Breitbart. Arizona Cardinals ripped for forcing women to throw Mega Hat in trash before entering stadium. Arizona Cardinals are taking heat for forcing the season ticket holder to throw away her MAGA hat to get into State Farm Stadium last weekend. Oh, so not only did you tell this person that they couldn't get in with their MAGA hat on, you did it to a season ticket holder nonetheless. Those are the people that you really don't want to mess with. Susan Rosner, Rosner, who has owned season tickets for 34 years, told KPNX TV that on Sunday, stadium security flagged her down and told her she could not enter the facility with her Make America Great Again hat. Rosner said the security officials told her that political gear is not allowed in the stadium. Well, if you go back here to the prohibited items list, I guess it could fall under any item deemed inappropriate or hazardous by stadium security. But I don't see anything specifically saying political gear is not allowed in the stadium. Longtime fan said she had asked security worker why the hat was prohibited. She's like, no political hats or shirts. And I said, I haven't heard that at all. And I said, that doesn't make sense to me. And she goes, I said, take your hat off. Rosner told the station. Security official asserted that Rosner could enter the stadium if she threw the hat in the garbage, and so she did just that, though she has since regretted the choice. I, I, I would have... I would ask for a supervisor. The hell with that. I'm wearing a hat. Who cares if it says Make America Great Again? I would, have, I would have stood there and said, I want to see your supervisor. Real simple. I'm super freedom of speech, Rosner said. I could care less if someone had a Kamala Harris hat or t-shirt on. I do feel like part of the problem was the security woman definitely had a bias with my hat. This is from OutKick. Arizona Cardinal season ticket holder claims the security guard at State Farm Stadium made her throw away her Make America Great Again hat or she and her husband wouldn't be allowed to attend the game against the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday. Now the Cardinals did apologize 
They did put out a statement. The team, this is the statement to local station 12 News. In an isolated incident on Saturday or on Sunday's game, a stadium security member misunderstood a policy on prohibited items, the statement said. Like most venues, signage, posters, flags, or displays that are political in nature are not permitted. However, that did not apply in this instance. Moving forward, we will work to provide clarity to all stadium personnel in these situations. The Cardinals statement continued. We have also reached out to the individual involved to communicate that their experience was not consistent with our policies and practices and apologize for that. It's part of the team to get out in front of this because the last thing the NFL needs is for a large section of its fan base to believe that it's being discriminated against. And despite vice presidential nominee Tim Walls claiming that his party is taking football back, any reasonable person understands that the majority of football players are not left, or football fans are not left wingers. Remember what happened when Colin Kaepernick took a knee. Um, this is over at the Blaze. Same thing. And a MAGA hat denied entry at Arizona Cardinals home stadium unless she threw it away from prompting apology from the team. Now, if I was this fan. I mean, like, yeah, I'll, I'll accept your apology, but you guys going to buy me a new hat? And keep in mind, the Bidwell family who owns the Arizona Cardinals, they're, they're big supporters of the Republican Party. I don't know if they're Trump supporters, but I know they're supporters of the Republican Party. Now, needless to say, um, over on X, I mean, right off the bat from this post by the blaze, I feel like sports should be apolitical. It should be a gateway from all this mess. But if a fan wants to wear something political, it's their right to do it. Glad she got an apology. Next person said blue state. Well, Arizona's kind of a purple state right now. Till we quit giving money to these teams, it will not stop. Money talks and these owners and CEOs are most of the problem. Some of them are, not all of them. Like I just said, I believe the Bidwells, they're, they're big supporters of the Republican Party. I would boycott them and advertise their bias. Bidwell's a little girl. <laughs> So-called tolerant party strikes again. They should have to replace the hat, just saying, yeah. They should have to replace the hat. Now, over on this post here that I first pulled up from Mr. AZ, Mr. AZ Sports. I've been told from another fan that they witnessed second situation where security told a male guest he was not allowed to enter with a MAGA hat. This is now two incidents where a fan was not allowed to enter the game with a MAGA hat. Update, the Cardinals have issued a statement. I already read the statement. They did. They let Carrie Lake into the game, however. Yeah, but notice she wasn't wearing anything that they deemed political. The no marijuana thing is lame. It's legal. They allow nicotine and alcohol. Lame. Yeah, it, well, I've been to a couple Bucks games down here in Tampa. Just saying. I've been to a few Illinois games, the University of Illinois, just saying. I was in the same security line as him and watched it happen. Staff was professional, but told him there was no way he was getting inside with the hat. And for those of you that are calling this post BS, besides the fact we got mainstream coverage from the Blaze, Breitbart, Outkick, I've been following Mr. AZ Sports since he started his journey. He doesn't make stuff up. So there you go. MAGA hats aren't allowed in State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Well, they are. Just you had an overzealous security guard 
take things just a little too far in a couple situations. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. I just thought this was interesting to see um, that this actually happened this past Sunday. While you're at it, please take the time, if you would, to give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, or even just tap the button. I mean, doesn't matter to me if you smash it, tap it, just hit it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.